Hello, I'm Manisha Lat Gupta and I'm back with another video on building with lime. Today we are going to talk about polished lime floors and this is the floor of choice that we have used when we've built our sustainable house. We evaluated many material options to build floors like stone, um, marble, tiles, um, cement polished floors and lime polished floors and we came to the conclusion that the best floors for us to use in this house would be a polished lime floor. Um, so why is polished lime a good idea for floors? Number one, because lime is elastic, therefore even with polished lime you can do really large expansive surfaces without any kind of expansion joints, unlike say cement where you'd need one at least every four to five feet. Um, and that means you can just really uh, capture large, sensual, shining, luxurious, grand uh, aesthetic that is otherwise not so easy to um, achieve through other materials. The reason why this is a great choice is because this is completely non-toxic and you have kids playing on the floor and in fact as Indians we use the floor a lot and that's you know that's um, it, it's absolutely safe in fact a lime lime uh, being naturally alkaline it's naturally antifungal antibacterial so the maintenance regimen is also very simple just water mops When you make your floor with lime, your floor finish with lime, you're adding a massive breathable surface area to your built envelope. This means that any moisture that accumulates in your walls, and let's say that you've even got lime plaster, lime surface finished, lime punning walls, it's hard to quantify water accumulation in a building and it's also something that can change at any time throughout the course of the life of the building. In this situation, when you have a large breathable floor, you're giving yourself a really good chance of getting to the end of your building's life without any moisture accumulation, mold and so on uh, problems which are really very toxic for human health and really challenging to resolve after a building is constructed. The polished lime floor application is actually a 4 mm thick application which is applied on top of the lime mortar bedding which we've talked about in a previous video. Now this 4 mm application is a combination of three different types of uh, lime and marble dust mixes where the particle size of the marble dust keeps reducing with every application. The first application is the M-Line Play Coarse, then it's the M-Line Play Fine, topped by the M-Line Play Top application, and then finally the soap application to seal the surface. There is a certain aspect to executing the polished lime floors and managing the project on site which needs to be considered. Uh, and thought through before taking on something like this so that you end up with the best possible result. Um, the first thing to keep in mind is um, that in this case, the team will be working on the surface that they are applying on. Typically, your feet will be on the floor and you're working on, your hands are going to work on the wall. Whereas in this case, your feet and hands are both working on the same surface. The other thing to think about uh, is that when polishing, a continuous area, a joint free area, that needs to be done in one sitting. Whether it is 1000 square feet or 100 square feet, it needs to be done in one sitting before you can't go to bed and wake up the next morning and continue getting the stearic acid to react with the lime. That's not going to work because the thickness of this stearic acid application is, is my, it's a watery thin micron thick application. So that's going to dry off. That's not going to give you, you know, a uh, time. It's not going to give you eight hours of time to kind of come back to it. The second best thing to do is to probably have somebody hydrating it all night, keeping it extremely moist so that it doesn't start drying. Because in this case, drying would mean the set has started. And therefore, it's too late 
to now make the stearic acid react with the lime. The thickness of the application comes from the lime in the aggregate mixes and on top you are layering the stearic acid. As with all lime applications, good regular small uh, steps in maintenance uh, really help in the, in the application aging well. So for floors, uh, I think uh, applying wax regularly once in two years or once in three years even would be a key step in preventing stains and small abrasions. So it's a very common concern and a valid concern that limes a softer material um, and how would it bear in a very high, um, high use or a demanding, practically demanding application like a floor. Here's a few things to consider when uh, you're visualizing whether this is the right specification for your project. So footfall per se isn't the factor. Higher the footfall actually is better for the line flow because it's actually getting compacted and harder and stronger through, you know, more feet kind of rubbing this surface. The real factor is... Uh, the style of use. So, for example, it could be a simple residential dwelling, low use, or even a country home. But thinking about, can you control that there is no, no use of harsh chemicals on your lime floor? That that would be a really significant behavior in, in ensuring its longevity. Uh, another would be that making sure that all the furniture is appropriately footed with, uh, you know, whether it's plastic or softer feet. You're not being abrasive on the floor. Another thing to consider about lime floors is that the initial set, I would say, is six weeks, with before which I would recommend not even moving in. And this is because, number one, floors take much longer to dry. So if you can, if you want to speed this up, bake your room after application, you know, put on halogens and fans and really aid the set. But in regular circumstances, at least six weeks. Another thing to keep in mind is that its strength will actually keep increasing till the end of its life. And like with all lime application, after the first six to eight weeks, the next significant milestone comes at two years when you would see a significant change in the sturdiness of your application. And um, after that, of course, consistently till the end of its life, the, the floors will become shinier. Com more compacted and stronger. It's been over a year now that we've been living in this house and enjoying these beautiful floors. With time, we can see the floors getting stronger and shinier. We really enjoy walking barefoot on these floors and even having a nap on them in the hot summer afternoons. I hope you found this video useful and would think about using uh, polished lime floors in some or all parts of your building whenever you're thinking of constructing something for yourself. As always, if you have any queries or questions, leave them in the comment section below and we will try to answer as many as we can. Thanks for watching and do subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like our content. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.